the Lindsay Adler optical spot. And I actually think this is a great device. I think this is very user friendly. What's up everybody? Uh, this is Jeff Benyon and I'm here with my friends, uh, portrait photographer Zach. And our model friend, Selena. And we are here looking at the new Lindsay Adler optical spot put out by Westcott. And I had a video that I did a little while ago looking at another optical snoot. And I'm going to show you guys some of the footage and some of the pictures that we can create with the new Westcott optical spot and compare that with some of the ones that I did before. So we've got some footage that we're going to be shooting for you guys. And I've got a little breakdown showing you uh, some of the things about this new Westcott optical snoot that I love. And let's get to it. Okay, so let's take a look at the different pieces of the optical spot. This is the Lindsay Adler optical spot right here. For comparison, I'm going to show you the other optical snoot that I compared in my last video. Now, one of the things that I really like about it is this system with the leaves. And you can this might be easier to see if I take this off but you can focus this and get these different precise angles with creating triangles or squares and these are actually built into the system these don't come out and uh, so that makes it really easy to scoot them in and out and the system that I had that I looked at before the flags, they need to go in and they're difficult to maneuver because there were these different pins in the way and it made it really hard to get precise angles. Whereas this, everything is built in and everything is also really large and it has these easy to move handles and getting these precise shapes like triangles and squares and rectangles is a really important feature for the optical snoot. So that is something that I really love about this. Again, having the ability to use these built-in flags, uh, this is just absolutely invaluable. You can see how easy it is to move these in and out, whereas in the last video I had, you could see where I actually put it in ultra fast motion because it took me a couple of minutes to get the angle just right. So that is actually super important and I love that part. So let me show you another thing here. This is the gobo holder. So when I pull these out right here, I can slide in this gobo holder and that also just fits in really easily right there. And then we have a lot of space to kind of rotate this around depending on what angle you put the light on. So this comes out and you can put in the different gobos. You just take them out, put them in the gobo holder, put it in, and then you are good to go. You can see on mine, this is where the gobo holder goes in and you're limited in the angle that you can spin that around. And that is endlessly frustrating. Then the flags also go in this angle and you're limited by moving them in between these different pins, which again, endlessly frustrating. Here is the gobo holder for this. And so for my old one, you have to unscrew this part and then get the gobo in at just the right angle, screw it back down, and then it goes in here. And then if it's not at the right angle and you can't maneuver it, you have to pull it out, unscrew this holder part, get it just right, screw it back down tight, stick it in, and then hope you got it right that time. So this system where you just slide it in and you can move it around here and you have a lot more um, space here to move this around is so much more valuable. That's so much easier to use. 
Now, another thing that is important about this is this size and this shape right here. So this has a lot of room in here with the other one that I looked at before, you can't use a Godox 8600 on it because there's just not enough space to put the bulb in. This one, the bulb will fit in it. I saw it. that's what we were just shooting with a little while ago, and there is enough space for the bulb. So here's a comparison you can see. One is definitely a lot thicker. I'm recording by the way. No, that was hot. <laughs>